joining us. Are you ready for some rapid fire questions? I think I'm ready, yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you about life right now? 10 being the most exciting? Yes. Probably a 10 for sure. I'm excited to graduate, move on and stuff. So. What is your major? Uh, I'm a justice community and leadership major with a double minor in law and society and also English. Rattle off for us all the things SMC that you're involved in. That's a lot. Uh, I'm the executive commissioner for the honors program. I was the previous vice president of public relations for the Asian Pacific American Student Association. I'm a set creator for Asian Cultural Night. Um, I'm a senior ambassador and recruitment coordinator for the Office of Admissions, and I think that covers a lot of it already. So, What is your favorite class? Ooh, my favorite class that I've taken here at St. Mary's would definitely be uh, probably JCL 163. It was a class on COVID, and it was during COVID, so we learned a lot about how and why uh, COVID you know, rose up uh, during that specific time and uh, how it affected so many different communities. So definitely uh, recommend that class for sure. What did you do when you heard you had been named valedictorian? Jumped around the walls and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I actually came back from a, a tour um, that day and then um, I ended up uh, celebrating with my admissions counselors that were there, the student ambassadors. We were all like jumping up and down once we heard the news that uh, it was just crazy. It's definitely surreal for sure. Who are your biggest supporters? Oh, that's an easy question. Uh, definitely my family and then also my closest friends here. Uh, you know, shout out to my mom and dad for uh, helping me with everything uh, through all the adversities and all my successes. They have been my number one supporters throughout it, all of it. So thank you to them. Do you have a favorite place to go on campus? Yeah, actually, Geno West right here. Uh, this is the best hall um, here at St. Mary's. Uh, Brother Chris, shout out to Brother Chris, our resident director here. Um, love. Love hanging out with him, love hanging out with all the residents here, definitely a peaceful area to, to be at, so. So what's next for you after graduation? Yeah, so I'm actually interested in uh, going to law school afterwards, uh, specializing in civil rights law. Um, and hopefully after you know, becoming a civil rights attorney, I'm hoping to get into a sociology doctoral program uh, to hopefully get my PhD and become a professor uh, at another institution or even possibly St. Mary's, so who knows? Let's get real. Are you nervous about your valedictorian speech? I'm beyond nervous. Everyone asks me, like, have you been writing it? Are you ready for it? I'm beyond nervous because I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, it's going to be like thousands of eyes just looking at. You. So, um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to take a breather, catch my breath and then be able to <laughs> say the speech without stuttering. <laughs> Who inspires you the most? Oh, definitely my, my parents, my mom and dad. Um, I owe a lot of my successes to them. Um, and I, like I said before, I wouldn't be here without them. So um, they've inspired me throughout my uh, you know, birth all the way up until now. So definitely look up to them for sure. Can you describe yourself in a hashtag? <laughs> um, I sign out all my emails with in optimism and I, that's sort of been my staple um, ever since I came to St. Mary's. So you know, hashtag optimism is my number one thing for me. What is one thing that people don't know about you? That's one thing that people don't know about me. That's a great question. I think I'm a pretty open person, to be honest. So I think everybody knows like what you see here is what you'll you know end up meeting. So nothing to hide, actually. So. What is your favorite time of day? Oh, definitely afternoon. I love when the sun is shining. Uh, when I, you know, nice sunny day. I don't really like overcast days, actually. So I like when the sun's beaming. So definitely in the afternoon. Do you have a style icon? <laughs> Uh, shout out to my old roommate, uh, Ben Vere. Uh, he was actually my first year roommate and I was roommates with him up until my junior year. He's one of my best friends here at St. Mary's and he definitely helped me out with a lot of my style because before coming to college, did not know how to dress, didn't know how to style anything. Um, but now, you know, I learned a lot from him and his sort of style. What is the top played songs uh, on your Spotify? The top played song. Uh, Slow Dancing in the Dark by Joji, that's my number one right now, I think. And then Come Through, Jeremy Zucker, a uh, bunch of other like Keshi songs. I don't know if y'all heard of these artists before, but they're pretty popular now. I, but um, yeah, also like some throwback songs from like the early 2010s, 2000s and stuff. So. What are three things you can't live without? Definitely family, friends, and then surprisingly my phone too. Like I feel so attached to it. I always have to answer like emails, texts, all that stuff. What's your biggest fear in life? Mm, that's a good question. If you had to ask me that like a few years, a few years ago, it would definitely be like heights or something. <laughs> but uh, right now, I think it's failing. 
that's something that, like, I'm really nervous about and stuff. So I always want to make sure that I succeed to the best way I can. But, you know, that fear of failing definitely pushes me. Do you have a current TV obsession? I did. I did. Um, it's done now, it's actually. Uh, but Game of Thrones was like my thing. Like, uh, watch all of them. Um, it was actually recommended to me by one of my college friends, and I, I binge watched like the whole season, or all of the seasons actually, in one go, just because I was just fell in love with that series. So, yeah. For our first year incoming students, what is a must have item that everyone should bring to campus? Mm, laptop. Hands down, laptop, because it's helpful in the class, helpful in your room. You can take it wherever you want. I used to study a lot in the library, outside in like Fairshare or Quad. Um, so definitely a laptop is a must have for sure. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? <sighs> um, best piece of advice? It would honestly be from my dad. He used to tell me this one thing, um, how important teamwork is um, and how important it is to be a part of a team. And he mentioned to me that if one of us fails, we all fail, but if one of us succeeds, we all succeed. And you know, I sort of see that with all of the things that I enter into. Um, I always want to make sure that every aspect is working well and then also that we all reap the benefits and always succeed in the best way that we all can. So team efforts for sure. And what uh, advice would you give your first year self? <laughs> don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. Uh, take advantage of all of the things because, you know, a few years can go virtually <laughs> in just a second. So um, take advantage of all the in-person things as much as possible. And what will you miss most from college? What will I miss most? Definitely the people. Definitely the people here at St. Mary's. I don't know if I could have had the same exact uh, opportunities, benefits, uh, life experiences that I had here at St. Mary's and any other institution. And I think it was all just because of the people that I surrounded myself with and the people that I met. I love meeting new people. So uh, St. Mary's made that um, an easy easy access to that, so. Do you have a celebrity crush? Ah, that's a great question. I don't know if I had a celebrity crush. Probably uh, Nikki from 88 Rising. She's a great singer. She's very talented. You know, always wanted to be able to play piano like that too, so. <laughs> In five years, what do you hope your life will look like? In five years, what do I think? Why? That's a good question. Well, I'm hoping that I'll be in school still, um, you know, getting my, law degree or uh, PhD degree. So uh, we'll see if, uh, well that, if that'll happen, so. Yeah. How do you know if you're in love? <laughs> How do I know if I'm in love? Well, I think love encompasses so many things. So I think if that's, there's this mutual feeling with one another that y'all are supportive of one another. I think that's how you know that you're in love for sure. Okay, this is the very last question. Thank you, you've been a trooper. What would you like to be remembered for? Yo. Now that's a heavy question. Um, I want to be remembered for uh, my optimism here because I think we went through so many things and so many unprecedented times and I think that you know, optimism was the key point of for what pushed me to continue on and I just want to be able to inspire others with that sort of optimistic outlook on life. So. Okay, thank you so much for doing this and we'll see you at commencement. See you at commencement. <laughs>